hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to talk about css grid and flexbox layout let's first define what is uh, grid and what flexbox and how to use it and then we will apply this in actual using html css css stands for cascading style sheet it is like paint and decor for website if your website was a house html would be the bricks and the structure and css would be the paint curtains and decoration grid think of it like checkerboard or spreadsheet with rows and columns css grid is a tool in css that let you to create these rows and columns on your website you can place content like images text uh, or videos in any of these cells it is a great for creating complex layout with multiple sections flexibox on the other hand imagine a magic box where you can easily align a space order items either in a row or a column css flexbox is a tool that let you to control the layout of item inside a container it is especially a good for making sure items lines up nicely uh, whether you have three items or 300 items it is a great for simpler one dimension layout either in a straight line or a single column layout is is just how things are arranged on your website where the header is uh, where the main content goes where the sidebar are, where the sections, where the footer. Using CSS Grid and Flexbox, you can control this layout to look exactly how you want, whether on a big computer screen or small phone screen. So in short, CSS Grid and Flexbox are like tools in a toolbox that website designer use to create a beautiful responsive layout on website, just like you would use different tools for different tasks when building something physical web designer use grid for complex layout and flexbox for simpler straight line design this page we have five rows and we have four columns so how we can achieve this using uh, flexbox and grid you see navbar represent the navigation bar for website the content inside navbar is uh, replaceable it is just placeholder you and in the main represent main content area of web page and the sidebar represent the sidebar on website which can be replaced by actual content like like links ads or supplementary information and we have sections we have one to four sections and you can add as many sections as you can. These represent individual sections of content on the website. Each section has a unique ID. We could be used in styling and scripting or linking purposes like content inside each section. So footer represent the footer of website. It contains like copyright, about author, information, so on. So these boxes that you see column and rows we can achieve it through flexbox and grid and we begin with uh, laying the html structure now we have this html element that we need navbar main content sidebar and four section and footer copyright and we need to apply css grid and flexbox for the layout now this class that contain all the element of html we want following style and here we want to display grid and grid template column we need four columns and we do that by one fr these grid columns fr stand for fraction so each column takes up to one fraction of available space think of it like dividing candy bar into four equal parts so this divide all the page into all equal parts now because we have four columns and five rows we need and we need five different size of uh, rows rows with different heights 0 0.2 1.5 
fr a fraction one fr one fr 0 0.8 a grid so this is where the magic happened it is like a map of your checkerboard you are naming each square or merge squares so you can easily place item there so first we have a bar so it means that we have four columns and I want all all four columns will stretch across all four columns in the first row now so I want sidebar first column and the main content is stretched across the three remaining columns so we do that by and remaining main 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 column to be sidebar and the second section one and the third section one third column and the fourth column I mean two in the third column I want section four as section three it's still the sidebar uh, take the first column and the second I want uh, section four and I want this section four to stretch all all remaining columns because I don't have any other uh, sections so uh, let's call it section four section four and footer to stretch all of them so let's say footer footer now and I want gap to have 20 pixel to be 100% Now let's quickly change the background color of each one in order to differentiate while we are styling. As you see this page is not responsive so uh, we need to add media query and we specify the the width of a screen and apply it and see how it's work I want each element to have a full row and to be one column whenever it reach the size that we specified it will change into columns and let us add some keyframes to change the fade in to make it smooth and with that we have covered the essential of CSS grid and flexbox layout thank you so much for tuning in if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumb up and if you would like to see more content like this consider subscribing 
to the channel. Your support means a lot. Until next, happy coding.